Hi, it's WSD Time here, and welcome to Minecraft Mondays. <laughs> Y'all are in, right? Yep. What? Yeah, we're in the server, yeah. Okay, here I come. You can't Okay. Hide. Awesome. find you and take you slowly. That's not the lyrics, <laughs> but you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, I have been traveling trying to find the Woodland Mansion, and it's got to be thousands of blocks away, because the map has taken me in that general direction, but it's been taken forever. Yep. Oh, I see a yellow arrow on my map. That must be WSD, because Jamie was was red. Are you close? Um, no, I just have a map that shows that you're, it's weird, like, like, you're kind of, like, outside of the bounds of my map, but it still shows you up in, like, the top right corner, so it's a little bit weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a new texture pack, by the way, if you see my new video. Oh, cool. Yeah, Jamie sent me that video. I haven't seen that one yet, but yeah. I'm sure it's good. Ah. <laughs> uh... The music plays look like MP3 players. <laughs> the disc looks like MP3 players. That's funny. Um, WSD, keep me up to date on uh, that net neutrality lawsuit because I want to hear some details about it. Okay, I'll look it up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I hope you win, like, that in the Supreme Court, you know? Yeah, I hope so, too. I gotta look that up. I've just been crazy doing yeah. that season. That's what they're banking on, everybody being, you know, too busy to pay attention to that. Yeah. It's like you were saying, but hopefully that hopefully that the Supreme Court's the grown ups here, you know. Yeah, because clearly we see we have children running the fucking joint. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Because these ISPs just do not care whether you can afford internet or not. If you're poor, as far as they as far as they're concerned, you're of no use to them. Yeah, and you would think they would want to get all the income they could, though, including even from the people who are low income. So I don't know what their deal is. Yeah. I'll, they'll give you um, a version of the internet, but it'll be a cut down version, you know, censored. Oh, yeah, we don't I want see that. What you mean by the map, man. Yeah. Because they'll throttle all our block sites that they don't agree with. And if you can't pay up for them, if you can't pay the extra, you're not accessing them. Yeah. Mm hmm I mean, That's like just... I said before, I pay 110 bones for 150 meg connection. That's the speed. Yeah, and I'm and I'm paying uh, about ninety dollars, um, which includes our phone, our home phone, and internet. And it's through Spectrum, which is formerly Time Warner Cable. And it's and that's the thing is, um, it's good phone service because it was we were before we were getting screwed over by AT and T, and so we're paying less than we were to AT and T, but still it's it's a lot. Yeah, but Time Warner is still be expensive. Though. Yeah, and and here's the thing is that it w it used to be cheaper, but you know how it is like there's the introductory price where you're paying twenty nine ninety five or whatever, but then they raise the price after that, yeah. and and they yeah. keep trying to talk us into getting cable TV. We don't watch TV, you know. It's like we just want we just have to have a home oh, phone. It's for the month. See if you it's have it's it's to tell people if you have internet, what the fuck would you have cable? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And see, these ISPs want to turn um, the internet into cable. It's just weird, and I don't. I, I see. I don't like TV because it's all restrictive and you, these channels, and you can't control what's on there. So it's like, yeah. what? For example, yeah. just like the Fox um, sitcoms. I watch some of the Fox sitcoms. Like for example, you ever heard Earl Vort, Oldville? Uh uh. It's like a um, parody version of Star Trek, basically. Like Family Guy, well, not Family Guy, not a sitcom, but you got shows but, like um, you got shows but, like you on CW. You got shows like The Flash or Arrow or um, 
where there was on um, No Ordinary Family. I like shows like that. Show, yeah. I like the fact that when you go to um, these channels' websites, you get to watch them whenever, whenever, whenever you want. Yeah, like, exactly. If I was to go now, if I was to go to CW and watch The Flash, I could do that right now. And like I was gonna, about to say earlier, um, what Channel was saying about after a certain amount of time you have to pay more money, that's called a term agreement. I mean, we have the same sort of thing with Virgin Media. But even after the term agreement, it's still cheaper for our internet in the UK than it is uh, paying the internet in America. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Bear me, fellas. I still don't know where everything is, so. Yeah. I don't like the way the companies treat the poor in the United States, man. I think it's wrong. Yeah. Yep. Like I say, 110 bucks. That's a lot of fucking money. <laughs> yeah, in America it is. <laughs> yeah, but after the net neutrality repeal goes through, if you if you lose the lawsuit, uh, the oh, price... Oh, yeah, can... I know it's going to get worse. Yeah, I know, it's going to get worse, and then you'll have a cut down... You'll have a censored version of the internet. It just wouldn't be the same. Yeah, I know. And and if it changes to where we can't play Minecraft anymore, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> I'm going to be more pissed than sad. But, you know. Yeah, same thing. I, uh, there's very little difference. But according to some, uh, to some idiots... Uh, it's apparently easy, easy to make a lot of money. Now, I'm thinking, <laughs> that's the case, right? How come most people are not millionaires then? Yeah? yeah, if it was that easy, we would have been doing it already. Yeah, I mean, that, that guy who was commenting on WSD's video, man, he's such a retard, I swear. Oh, I know. <laughs> I laughed at him. Yeah. Don't take guys like that seriously. Like I said, man, that motherfucker... Fuck him. Such a fucking retard, man. It's like you said, Channer, if, if it was that easy, most people would be doing it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, how is it easy to make money? <laughs> well, the kind of money he's talking about. Because I believe he used the words a lot of money or something along them lines. Yep. How much is a lot to him, does he reckon? Yeah, I don't know, man. I think he's just a troll. I think he's just like some teenager who's really bored and he get, likes to go and bug people on the internet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those people would never amount to anything. Yep. Of course, you of course, uh, you lot dorks. But the thing is, he's the dork here because a majority disagree with him. A majority wanted net neutrality to stay. So, yeah. Who's a social reject? Here, you know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I don't. I don't just go go by democracy. I go by other reasons too, like practicality. You know? Yeah. I don't just go by the majority vote. But I'm just saying, like, majority of people in the United States didn't want the net neutrality to be repealed. You know? So yep. really, it was, mm -hmm. really, it was shoved down your throats. You know? Yep. Totally. So. Yeah, pretty much. So now, now you're living under a dictatorship. Yeah, which, of course, we already were, but it's worse. Yeah. There we go. Your government's, pra your government's practically bought off by the corporations. Yep. Big business uh, gets to, and they'll try and force it on you anywhere they can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
it would seem that Donald Trump's losing popularity now because of his net neutrality stuff. But I'm thinking, mm-hmm. you know, you guys are only complaining now because you didn't like the fact that Agit Pai forced net neutrality repealed down your throats. You're only complaining about that. Mm-hmm. That's that, that, that's what I think about the uh, Republican voters. You know? They have the audacity to complain about this when they're the ones who put these assholes in the first place. Yeah, and meanwhile, we've been complaining the whole time. <laughs> yeah, like I said, how many times have we made it clear? We don't want this shit. Yeah. But yet, yeah, we, it's still... We know what the result's going to be. You know what the result's going to be. It's going to be price gouged even further than it has now. Pay, paying for your download and upload speed is one thing, but to charge people for the sites that they're using or particular bandwidth that they use, like Netflix, for example, which is heavily bandwidth intensive, that's just like, uh, well, you're already paying a subscription for Netflix, so why should you have to pay twice? Yeah, that's just messed up, man. So uh, the the only hope that I see is that Netflix, you know, will probably be part of the lawsuit against them and stuff because, I mean, because then that's threatening their business because they'll lose customers if people can't afford Internet in the first place because I'll just cancel their Netflix. Actually, if you've been looking at the tweets on Twitter, you'll find that Netflix are against the uh, repeal. Yeah, I kind of thought they would be. Yeah. Sorry about that, again. fellas. I forgot confused on what the painting was. I'm still getting used to this new texture pack. Picture frame. They have a character's in bed to be stay. Oh, bed? Okay. Yeah. But, um. Is Chandler in bed? I think so. He's. He's uh, gone somewhere, man. But, um... It's a real messed up situation with the oligarchs. Yes. Yes, it is. I've got a friend on Steam who tells me that Donald Trump's not going to get a second term after this. (laughs) would be me. Yeah. Well, I hope he's right. I hope Donald Trump doesn't get a second term because if he gets a second term, man, he's only going to do more damage. Hey, I'm going to call every fucking voter that voted for his ass fucking stupid. <laughs> I know, it's Stockholm Syndrome, you know what I mean? They don't know when... They don't know that their own politicians are actually abusing them. They're just too stupid to realize it. When, you know, when are these people going to grow up and accept the fact that not all the evils of the world are caused by liberals? Okay. Dude. Yeah. How do you get, um, how do you get leather? Do you have to kill the cow? Yes, you have to kill cows, yeah. Damn it. Get, get leather. Let me see if there's any leather in here. Why do you need leather at the moment anyway? What are you trying to craft? A pit, uh, um, a frame. Oh, uh, I might have some leather in my chest in my house. Go look in there. Never an S deal. Yeah, this is why I say it, man. Motherfuckers are hard headed, man. You had a good politician right in front of your faces. Yeah, it's still y'all. And they went backwards anyway. You know, they went they went for Trump instead of like Bernie Sanders. Yeah, or they uh, went for Hillary, which is the worst case. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
but the, Rub the Republicans just they listen to Fox News propaganda, like they think climate change is a hoax, you know, and they just listen oh. to the bullshit that Donald Trump spouts about. It, you know? Oh man, yeah, they've got this insane idea that all the evils of the world are caused by Democrats or <laughs> whatever. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, it's not like Democrats are perfect either, but man... I'm, far from it. I'm gonna take yeah. 20 leathers, alright? That's alright. Yeah, I can, I can always get more anyway, I don't know. Alright. Didn't want to kill the cow, so yeah. Yeah, I've got a loot and sword, remember, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know the Democrats ain't perfect and stuff. I mean, there was some problems with... Far like, from it. I'm a yeah, there were some problems with Obamacare, like, from what I've been hearing about. But yeah. One of the reasons, uh, why I'm told. <coughs> yeah, one of the reasons why Obamacare was flawed is because not everyone was covered by state health care, were they? No. Not everyone was covered. It was, it was only certain people. That's the thing I hate about it. Too many loopholes. Yeah, well, from what how I understood Obamacare, you, people were required to buy health insurance by law, um, even if they didn't have yeah. money. <laughs> and so it was the dumbest idea ever. Yep. Uh, it, and like I said, man. What they should do is a single pair system, you know, like they do in some other countries. And it shouldn't be expensive, you know, it should just be, I don't know, some kind of like small taxation for the, the lower classes and tax the bigger corporations a little bit more to make sure um, that the state can provide all this stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Like the higher income bracket you're in. The higher percentage of tax and the top yeah, tax that would make sense. Yeah, and the top tax rate should be like I don't know, maybe half their income or something. Like that. You know, it depends on how much is practical. You know, but at the at the moment, the poor pay way too much. You know, on certain things. And that be one of them. Rent another. Didn't you say that um, apartment rents in the USA are like a thousand dollars a month? Oh uh, yeah, here in Philly, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, man, that's nasty. That is nasty. That is unforgivable, man. Yep. I understand it's a um, it's a big metropolitan city. It's a big um city. One, well, it's the sixth largest city in the um U.S. But yeah, I understand yeah. that. But still. Yeah, but they got to take into consideration that not everyone makes a a lot of money every year, you know. Yep. Uh. I, don't, I don't care if it's a city or some small town. There should still be affordable housing. Period. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah, that was a stupid thing about Obamacare as well, wasn't it, Chandler? Like, people were forced to pay, like, such and such. And it usually, yeah, it's it, like usually it, it usually took up a significant amount of their income, didn't it? Yeah, and see, if you're too poor to buy health insurance, then what good is making a law where you have to buy it? And, and, what, and if you don't, what happens? Are you thrown in jail? Like, what? No, you know? it just deducted uh, your pay, uh, your um, tax return in the, the year. Garnish wages, you mean? No, I deducted uh, your tax return. Oh. Uh, Chandler knows what that means, oh. but yeah. Yeah, oh, cause, right. yeah, because we have to file taxes, and that's another thing that's really bizarre. But yeah, at least sometimes I get a tax return um, after that. 
uh, it's just weird. See, and they just take all they all take the taxes um, out out of my paycheck automatically before I get it. That's just the way it is. Because like before I get it direct deposited into my bank, um, they've already taken out tons of taxes, and it's just just ridiculous. They take out. Yeah, it's it's probably fifteen to twenty percent of my gross pay that's taxed out. It's just out. Yeah, money you're making. Yeah, it, yeah, that's a serious ouch. I know, and I'm like, I'm a low income person, you know. Like, why am I being taxed that much? Why not tax the rich? <laughs> oh no, they pay, they paying into our wallet, so we should help them out. Like, they them pay less and make you pay more. Huh. Yeah. If, any, if anything, the rich should be paying a higher percentage of their income. Yep. Oh, in a practical world, yes. Yep, but because this is far they can, from the way it should be. <laughs> because they have the resources um, to deal with. Whereas yep. They don't, or don't have as many resources as the rich do, therefore they can't pay them. Yep. It's just logical, man. It's, it's common sense stuff, but... I've yeah. learned that common sense isn't really common. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. No. It's just, uh... <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> Secular Talk's been saying this stuff as well, you know? He's been saying that you should have a progressive tax system where the rich pay more. Yep. I agree with him, like... And he, he talks about how other countries use single pair, you know? and one of them is the uh, UK, because what happens here is that people who work pay national insurance contributions, and that goes towards things like uh, the police, uh, healthcare, and all that stuff. Uh, I'm, not sh I'm not sure of the exact percentage now, but it doesn't seem to be as much as what you're paying. Okay, mm. I'm in the bed. Uh, bed? Yeah. Yep. We're, Jamie and I are both in beds in Minecraft. But it's still daylight. Oh, okay. No, it's it, no, it's night or it wouldn't let us sleep in the bed. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the rates of stuff that you pay each year and whatever, it changes all the time. You know? Sometimes it goes up. Sometimes it goes down, you know, it just depends, but I'll have to look up the national insurance contributions thing, but it doesn't seem to be as much of a problem here as Obamacare, you know. I heard that was expensive, you know, like, people who had to pay it, you know. Yeah. So it was a flawed idea, you know. Instead, what they should have is public health care provided for all, and it, people pay a small amount, like, in contributions towards health insurance. Because mm -hmm. how, an, how, how an insurance company works is people chip in, right? And only the people who need the service will get it, and the people who don't need it won't get it. That's, that's the way insurance works. Yeah, yeah you would think so. Hmm. Yeah. Like, um, I can't put this. Yeah, Secular Talk was talking about that as well. It makes a lot of sense because you're not going to need treatment for every day of your life. You know what I mean? You're not going to need it that often. Yeah. Yeah. You only need you only need the treatment in a hospital because if you're sick or if you're injured. You know? Yeah. So, you know, 
the, the single payer insurance based system would work. I think. Yeah. Yep. Seriously, man, you guys should be in charge. <laughs> no, we'll be shot in two seconds. Trust yeah, me. you would. <laughs> They would hate us, trust me. Yep, but I like you. <laughs> yeah, but you're interfering with our cash. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Bernie Sanders, though. It's, it's such a shame that he's old, you know? <laughs> That's the only thing, yeah. He's getting up there in age, you know? Someone's got to take his place if, uh, if he even gets a chance of getting in the White House. Yeah, and Hil Hillary Clinton's old, too, but people are still voting for her. <laughs> yeah, she ain't too far behind. Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, if you think about it, Trump is like maybe five years younger? Yeah. Yeah, and, and I don't know how old Trump is, but he's sure ugly. <laughs> Six, I mean, 71. He is? Yeah, no, I, that's interesting. Yeah, he acts like a fucking, like he's fucking seven. Yep. I agree with you there, man. So, a man who's 71 years old and he acts like a mad child. You know? mm -hmm. You've got he's got like dogmatic fans on Twitter and stuff, but. I'd imagine at this point he would be losing popularity though, because think about it. I mean, he did force net, net neutrality repeal on you guys, so you know. Mm -hmm. And even even the majority of Republicans disagree with that, so he's not going to be very popular after this. Trust me. Yeah. And our soul to the end. Yeah. Unfortunately. But that is, a, that is a sad legacy to leave behind, you know what I mean? To be remembered by, by the public as that kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told you, all they care about is the almighty dollar. Why, why would people want to be remembered as an arsehole in history? You know? Well, apparently, I, I don't know, but a lot of people sure do, because they're acting like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That Agit Pai guy, he needs to lose his job. No shit. <laughs> the sec I talk said true words about that guy too. I mean, Agit Pai is just a loser. He'll be, he'll be remembered in the future as a guy who almost destroyed the internet. Told you, they, you people, they'll shoot, they'll pick money over the, um, I'm telling you, man, they'll pick money over, um, they'll pick that money in a heartbeat. I can't think of what year, though. Yeah, you know, when are these right-wingers going to grow up and accept the fact that we need certain regulations to make sure things don't go wrong? I mean, badly wrong. Yeah. Either financially or ethically. Yeah. They've got this twisted view of reality where any regulations and interference will 
or it's an interference with their rights. Oh man. <clears throat> or they want to control this. or they want to control somebody. People and their silly notions of their rights that involve hurting other people. <laughs> but even if you had Bernie Sanders in power, you still have the problem of animal cruelty. Yeah. yeah. If he's serious about so, um, solving climate change, I think he should look into that kind of stuff, you know. Because uh, animal agriculture has apparently been a big contributor to climate change, isn't it? So. Yeah. But then again, let's remember, guys, if they don't care about the animals being murdered and raped, then why would they care about climate change? <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah, when I was watching that documentary, it's saying, it was something to do with the methane emissions, like coming from the waste. Yeah. That was causing. See, there's no way, no at no time in history, before humans existed, would there have ever been that many cows on the planet. They bred so many of them, and that they they produce so much methane with their their manure and farts and all that weirdness it, because there's like there's far i forgot how many billions of of cows there are because you know they're clearing out the amazon forest they've already destroyed most of it i'm sure by this time and have all these cows but then they, then they feed them all the grains while there's uh, starving children everywhere in the world. Well, they didn't need to breed the cows in the first place because we don't need to eat the cows. We don't need to drink their milk. So yeah, it's just ugh. yep. Yeah, and this deforestation. Getting, as far as um, not eating meat, I'm slowly getting there, but I'm getting there, but slowly, surely. I don't eat as uh -huh. meat. As, I don't eat meat as much. I don't eat it as much as I used to, but you know. Yeah, he eats salads and, you know, whatnot in a lot of his meals. Yeah. There's still meat there, but, you know, it's not as much. And yeah, a lot of people, that's all the Yeah, because of that deforestation of the Amazon, like, there's less trees to suck up that carbon dioxide. You know, so. Yeah, and that's, that's why it's such a huge contribution to climate change, because destroying the plants, breeding more animals than would ordinarily be exist in the wild in the first place. Yeah. And true to still be producing methane when they're in the wild, wild because... Exactly. Yeah, there would be... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is there's billions and billions of them now, whereas if yeah. humans stopped breeding them, they would go way down in population. So. Somebody's not in bed. I'm in bed. Okay. I'm going to go in the bed. I was just torching up my area because I'm out on the top of a mountain and I'm not really safe. So I wanted to make sure you guys were in the bed before I tried to sleep in it. Yeah, yeah if humans stop breeding these cows and uh, whole, um, horses and whatnot and stuff, their numbers yep. would come down, but also because of wild predators. I mean, wild predators would be hunting them, obviously, if they were in a wild, but... Yeah, that's true, and I, and that's a, not a pretty sight either, you know, and... Yeah. I know it's not a pretty sight, I'm just saying, if they were, yeah. if they were turned loose into the wild, then their numbers would drastically decline, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's why there wouldn't be very many of them. Yeah. But it's like people who think that this world is intelligently designed, like seriously, man. Yeah. The, there's this is this is why WSD is right. God would have to be an asshole. <laughs> I mean, because 
Because seriously, to design predator and prey, like Jamie has pointed out, to design carnivores that r rip um, the other animals' uh, flesh friends? apart. Yeah, just to yeah. get nutrients and food. Yeah. I understand why they're doing it. I just kind of, you can't, it's hard to condone it. Exactly. See, and the idea that a supposedly good and loving God created them to rip those animals apart while alive and conscious when he could just made everybody herbivores and then put a, a limit on their breeding so they don't overpopulate. It's sort of like Minecraft villagers, like they'll only breed if there's like there's a limit based on the number of doors. Like why, if we were, if this planet was intelligently designed, then it would have all of this awesome programming in place so that things didn't get messed up. Yep. Actually, I think it does. Matter of fact, I think that thing's climate change. Eventually, the planet's gonna clean itself up. Yeah, that's a good it's point. It's gonna fuck us over, but yeah, it's gonna clean itself eventually. Well, that's a good point to make. I mean, if we somehow become extinct because of all the environmental damage that industrial world is caused then even though we will cease to exist the other animals may not yeah so in in a way eventually things will improve for them because don't don't make no mistake guys the extinction of the human race will come <laughs> yeah in fact, every every species goes extinct eventually and gets replaced with others. You know, it's just the way it always works. And humans have only managed to keep alive because they they breed so ridiculously fast. Yeah, it, it's that woman that had fifteen kids. Why, any mother of fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like man. Yeah, I saw some double standard rants that WSD's been making, like, his most recent one was where this woman had so many kids, and then she wanted other people to pay for them. Like, oh yeah, I think I, I might have seen that one. Man, it's like, what? Oh. That's why I'm like, yeah, kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, I All think right, it's... You need, um, you know, like I said, why should the fuck do my taxes go to pay your monkey ass? <laughs> I, also think, I also think it's sad when welfare queens do this kind of stuff, like they have so many kids on welfare and then they expect other people to pay for them, but at the same time, parenting is hard work, you know, and like, you're having all these kids and you have them like, screaming, asking for, you know, asking yeah. for buy from them and stuff, you know. And the thing is, why do they do that to themselves? Yeah, it's just sad, dude. That is a depressing life, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. It's like, what in the world? It's like, I don't know, man. See, I used to think like someday I would adopt, but I wouldn't want to be a single parent, obviously. So I'd want to be. Is that, is what rule is that I always follow? It takes a village rule? to raise. It takes a village to raise a kid. Yeah, it's true. Uh, WST, you told me a story um, a long time ago about. A woman who had 18 kids on welfare, wasn't it? 18? Is that what you said, or... I remember was 15, but 18? I think that was the story about 15 kids, well, you know. Oh, a story about 15 kids, oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, you did, you, you did say in the past, term um, that there were some women who had, like, a lot of kids on, like, government handouts, and, like... Mm -hmm. They can't get this shit out of control, because overpopulation is going to be a death for us one day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the trouble with overpopulation is it makes it even harder for um, people to provide for their families, you know? Yep. Because resources get stressed, you know? They don't, they don't divide out as... Um, how can I put this? It's like a division sum, you know? There's only so many resources, resources you can get on this planet. Yep. Yeah, these welfare queens have got to stop this shit. It's horrible. I know. 
<sighs> I mean, if they're going to end homelessness at all, if they're going to do that in the United States, there needs to be regulations on how many kids you can have on the system. Yeah. So, oh, get rid of capitalism. That's another way. That's the only. Like I said, I said, uh, I said it before. <laughs> yeah, no, we all agree on that. Yeah, but that's not what I was like mentioning. What I was saying was there needs to be legislation saying that you can only have this amount of kids when you're on like some. And sort how of about we set that number to zero? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but then we'll go extinct. <laughs> that's the whole point, Jamie. <laughs> that's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's far, there's far too many people being brought into the world. That's the problem. Yeah, but here's the, here's the thing: people are not thinking. They're yep. Bring him into the world and say, "Okay, I'm gonna have this kid." Oh yeah, I'm gonna get paid off it too. Fucking pricks. <laughs> oh man. Well, they think they're gonna get an easier ride, but what they're not taking into account is that resources on this planet are limited. Yeah. Well, let's, let's remember this, guys. They believe in God. They believe that everybody is going to like, well, curse, they've got it all screwed up because they think that they're going to heaven. Everybody else who they don't like is going to hell. And <laughs> and, and that so and they think that, oh, let's have the mo as many babies as we can, so they'll go to heaven with us. And then their babies grow up to be atheists who they think are going to hell anyway. It's like, well, it, like, what did you think was going to happen? P people learn how the world works, and they realize that your religion's crap. It just, come on, man. You know oh. what's funny? I what? Would, if I was, if I was, um, about my, um, about religion. If I ain't have the internet, I would still probably still be religious right now. Yeah, that's how I think. Like, I would be too, because that was the only thing that that taught me that there was such a thing as atheists. Atheists, you know? It's like, yeah, because I thought everybody was a Christian. I never heard anything different. And so it was the internet that saved my life pretty much, you know? That's why I said the internet brought about, um, what's it called? It made the atheist movement big, didn't it? The internet. Yep. Yeah, and that's why this whole net neutrality repeal is a terrible thing, because we, we could be sent back in the dark ages, man. Yeah. It was thanks to people like Thunderfoot on the internet that, you know, the myths of Christianity were exposed. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, his series uh, called... Why do people laugh at creations? That's a uh, pretty good one. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Venom Fang X. He, he thought the uh, Grand Canyon could be made in five minutes. I was like... Oh, I know. That was hilarious, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, what? Yeah, there's Somebody this guy... Somebody actually explained how fast the water would have to be going for it to be made in five minutes. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, WSD. in half? <laughs> yeah. That was yeah, see, there's like this... crack the planet like an egg shell. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Um WC, have you seen that video by Venom Fang X? Venom Fang X I see a lot of atheist videos. I mean, I can't quite remember right I now. Heard no, stay, I heard no, his No, stay. Venom Fang X was the creationist and he's the one who said that the Grand Canyon was created in five minutes by the flood in Genesis six. <laughs> Another one. Remember how they said how to um explain how um Moses parted the sea? <laughs> they said it was a, a wind vacuum. I said, dude, if it was a wind vacuum in there, you wouldn't be able to walk through there if it was strong enough to hold the water up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, people are so dumb. And you can't say it was telekinesis either, because Moses would never like, had the uh, powers to do that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, but you know, God, magic, whatever—it's all that they'll yeah. have an explanation for it somehow. As always. Well, 
That's the thing, they're just not very bright, these people. Yeah. It takes a long time for water to erode, to erode the ground enough to make the ground tend. Yeah, like 200 million years. Yep. Yeah, but remember, that guy believes that the Earth is 6,000 years old. <laughs> oh, really? Do you know yeah. How do you know how hot the planet would be if it was only 6,000 years old? It would just be a ball, a big ball of lava, baby. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I believe that the Earth is only 6,000 years old. It's like, huh? You wouldn't even be able to stand on a planet that, that, that was that young. It would be way too hot. It's impossible. Oh, man. Christ, what is wrong with these people, man? Yeah, Ven Venom Fang X was one of the weirdest creations I've ever seen. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Other creationists were there on uh, YouTube who were exposed. Well, there were some videos about Westboro Baptists. I mean, <laughs> they were exposed. Everybody attacked those assholes. Then again, yep. that's probably that's what they wanted. Yeah. Yeah. They were, were over-glorified trolls, basically. Yep. Now use the restroom again, guys. Do you remember that time when they were picketing funerals? <laughs> yep. And then they, they had the audacity to complain about people picketing uh, Fred Phelps' funeral. I heard they tried to hide it, too. Uh -uh, you can't hide shit, motherfucker. We found that shit. Uh. Damn, I would like to find his grave. Yeah, for I would do the moonwalk on his grave. Yeah, Fred Phelps is such an asshole, man. Mhm. Mm Like, they've spent, like, nearly their whole life holding up signs saying, God hates, insert word, you know? Yeah. I'm not going to use, use the word in this video, because it's derogatory, but, you know. <laughs> you remember that, don't you, Chandler? Uh, what? When... The Phelps family were holding up these signs saying God hates, what's that word? Oh yeah, God hates fags. <laughs> yeah, and they even oh, made okay. a parody. Okay, I'm gonna ask you something that's re easily rebuttaled. I'm gonna ask you something. Alright. If God hates fags, why did he create them? Yeah, you know, I've been wondering the same thing for a long time, WSD. It doesn't make any sense, but then you know what they're gonna say? Well, people of their free will chose to be gay. I'm like, okay, then let's encourage them to choose to be gay so that we can go extinct for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man, people are so dense. I like, uh, personally, I you like gay people. I say dense as a singularity, but you know. Ah, that actually works. That's an insult to the singularity. I like that. I put yep. a lot. <laughs> Thanks, JB. Because these wall, mm -hmm. because these um, what are these called? These um, those um, display uh, pads. You can't um, I got um, make a clock in my room. Oh yeah, I'll put a clock um in when your chest in the. No, that, no, I um. I mounted it to my wall. Oh, you mounted it to your wall now? Yes, in my room. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, he's been spending his time decorating his house while I've been mining for cobblestone. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Just get. Okay. Yep. 
I'm just, you know, like well, I said, I'm ready for that factory when you are you ready. Like I said. Yeah, I need to get the resources first, man. It's going to take some time because I need to level out that terrain first. Like, I need to make some, like, space partition, partition for it, if you know what I mean. All of course, right. you could always build a cobblestone factory in the sky. <laughs> I'm I'm a bit particular when it comes to builds, man. So yeah, yeah, he's yeah I know, me too. <laughs> but one of these days, I probably build another big thing. Up but yeah, I will get it done, WSD. Don't you worry about that. And we are keeping the server because one, we've not had any major problems so far, like in the past how many months? It's been a while. Yeah, we're not having any world holes for a while, so I think the server will be safe. And they've updated it as well when they channel like to yeah. make it stable. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty good recently. Yeah. I made a more up to date version of this world because uh, there was a major update a while back called uh, what's it called? Better Together, I think it was called. Yeah. yeah. And I wanted to make sure that this file was compatible with the, uh, you know, with the version that they were using, you know. Yep. Because I don't, I don't want any chunk error as well. I just fall into the void and lose everything. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, that is actually. We don't happened. need no chunk errors, man. It happened once in this world before, but, you know, months ago I replaced the file with a backup, so, with it. Yep. I'm not going through that, I'm not going through all that trouble of making a new world, man. Sod that shit. Yeah, I know. It's just... I like my builds on this world. I've yeah. built more stuff in this world you. than any, any other world we've done so far. I've built more than any of those, I think. Yeah, you must have done some, like, uh, Iron Golem files by now. Yeah, I actually have two of them set up. Well, actually, one of them is working. So the other mad one that is they not. Can't stack tools. I'm so mad at that. <laughs> can't you stack tools? That would save up a lot more space. That's dodgy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what I plan to do is I plan to put a factory, uh, you know where mountain is with your house on top of it, WSD is? Yep. It's going to be next to that when I flatten it out. Yeah. Alright. I have a cobblestone in my um, chest and in, um, in my mind, you know. Yeah, but how much, how much cobblestone is there though? How much, like, in total? Two rolls. Yeah, I need I need multiple chests for that stuff to you know make it worth my time. Yeah. Just don't forget I'm gonna put iron golem farms at the corners of that factory as well, you know. You know, that, right? Yeah. Because we want like a lot of iron generated as well as cobblestone. Like while you're mining the cobblestone, it's gonna be set up so iron generates at the same time. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be like, this could be a monster build. Trust me, you'll like it. And when I've done the building, what I'll do is I'll make an office on top of it. Put your name in front of a desk, and you could be the chief executive. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And don't forget to build a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, flush the goddamn toilet. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're ripping off my father now. <laughs> uh. Or at least he taught you hygiene. Yeah. I know. Yep. Told me everything I need to know, you know. You know, at times he's rough around the edges, but you know. Yeah, but there's gonna be multiple sections to this factory. Like, one part's gonna be for cobblestone, another part's gonna be for iron. 
another part's going to be for wood farming, and another part's going to be full of furnaces, so you can keep on making like charcoal. Yeah. Of course, you can use it to make other things if you choose. But because furnaces have a lot of use in this, uses yep. in this game. Like you can use it to cook food, for example. So. This factory is just gonna be massive. You, you know another bullshit thing they could add in this fucking game that would be bullshit. What? <laughs> I don't want to jinx it if I say it. <laughs> Do you really want me to say it? Yeah, sure, say it. Cave collapses. What? If a cave collapsed, well, it's in, <laughs> some, in some ways that can happen. Because if there's gravel on top of the stone that you're mining, the gravel falls on top of you, so... Yeah, so it kind of happens sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's happened to me in the desert when the sand falls on me. I'm talking about when yeah. they're just like, like this, you know, the, our main structure, and then the whole thing collapses. Oh, oh man, no. People would would quit playing Minecraft if that <laughs> happened. That's like, what I meant. No. <laughs> <clears throat> I would I would also quit playing Minecraft, right, if it makes torches finite. Like, say, for example, like, if torches burned out after a certain time. Yeah, I come back down well, here, there's a whole fucking tunnel of dark and shit that I'm in right now. Yeah, because if you're in a mine shaft, right, you know, you're minding your own business, like, getting resources, uh, and you're several blocks below, like, surface, and then all of a sudden your tor torches burned out, I'll be like, if I die because of this, I'm not playing Minecraft again, you know? Just to be stuck down there in darkness. Like, if your torch is burned out, that would just be bullshit. You know? Yep. Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. Yeah, I know. People keep making stupid suggestions of this stuff as well. They keep saying that torches should be fine. Now. Like, that's not gonna work. It's not practical. Yeah, like that creeper thing. Remember that creeper thing you was complaining about? Oh, yeah. What creeper thing? Make a creeper more explosive. Oh, no, no. I, I, did I talk about that? I think you did. I well, remember that they, the problem with creepers was that no matter how much armor you were wearing, it did you no good. They still killed you in one hit. <laughs> unless you have um, a... Glass protection, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is probably one of the best enchantments in the game. <laughs> yeah, people make dumb suggestions for this game, and it's, it's so unworkable, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, like... Oh, no, we want Minecraft to be real life. Do you want Minecraft to be real life? Really? You want it to be real life? Yeah, then how about we start adding some religions and some politics and have all the same shit that happens in real life happen in this game. Yeah. Oh, no, you can't... Yeah, no, you can't build... You, the government's going to destroy all your wheat farm because they decided that they own the land. And, and <laughs> but it's like, come on, man. Nobody would put up with that game if they made it like the life. <laughs> you know, that's why I don't take the Minecraft forums seriously anymore, you know, because a lot of the stuff that, that gets suggested on is just not going to work. Yeah, I'd never look at what other people are saying. I only play with you guys. <laughs> I want the game to be more challenging, not, but you know, there's fairer ways to do it. You know? Yep. There's much more practical ways of doing it. You know? Instead of like destroying people's cities that they've spent so many months building because, oh no, you wanted torches to be fine. Could you imagine what a pain in the arse it would be if you had to. There. Hello? Yeah. 
Yeah, could you imagine what a pain in the arse it would be, right, if you had to relight everything? Like, if you had to go put new torches in the sea? Mm-hmm. Some people would be like, ooh, just use uh, glowstone or use... Oh, no, uh, here's the thing about real life. Do glowstone uh, exist in real life? Nope. Oh, okay. Does another exist in real life? No, we have to take that out. I get that you can get. What are you doing? I'm still here. Chandler left. Oh, who left a call? Oh, Chandler left a call. Did he? Yeah. Just saying, um... I get that you can get glowstone from trades and whatnot. Totally get that. But here's the thing: you still have to set the uh, trading system up. You know what I mean, you still have to get yeah. farms all. It takes some time, you know. You don't just get it all handed to you, obviously. I know. You have to work for it. That's the problem. So, and glowstone is nowhere near abundant enough to make this work. You know? It's nowhere near as abundant. Mm -hmm. Not unless you have villager trade set up. But like I said, it takes time to get it, get to that point, and it will take even longer if your torch is burned out in the meantime. Yep. So, you know, I wish people would just use their heads before they make suggestions like that. I just wish that they would mm -hmm. use some in their thinking. Because some ideas are just, some ideas are just so, so obviously dumb. That'll be as bullshit as having an entire cave system collapse on top of you. That's how bullshit it will be. Yep. I think I want to mention it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Why well, I was like, you really want me to mention it? <laughs> yep. If if torches were finite and they burned out, well, if he was down in the mine mine shaft getting diamonds, oh, your torches go out. Oh, you lose them all because you can't find your way out of the dark cave system. And you get blown up by a creeper. Yep, especially if you make multiple um make multiple paths. Yeah, if you make multiple tunnels, like going in off in different directions. Yeah. You can't, yeah. Well, after torches, you ain't gonna be able to tell which way you went. Yep, and without light, you can't see the signs either. See what I mean? So, so having a big mine shaft system where you strip mining for diamonds or strip mining for lapis or whatever you're trying to pick out the cave systems out there down there, and you're fort. You're 40 plus blocks below the surface of the ground, then you're pretty much fucked if your torches were to burn out. You know, you're pretty much done for. Mm -hmm. You lose the loot. You'll you'll lose all your hard-earned loot. People tried this on mods, man. Yeah, and th and there's a reason why it's not being brought out in an update. It's it's because it's not gonna work. Yeah, people fucking lost their minds because of that shit. Exactly. People ain't gonna tolerate this shit, man. It's bullshit. It's dumb. Yeah. That's the reason why they're not putting it in the game. Because in the developers of this game know it wouldn't work. It's not feasible, man. If the developers themselves know that it's a dumb idea, then why can't the fans accept that? Yeah? Just accept it and move on. Stop making stupid suggestions. I don't care if it's just their opinion. The fact of the matter is, it's not going to work. Simple as. Yep. Yeah. 
All right, back in a moment. Listening for lava.
Whoa, I hear lava. Oh. Sorry about that, Chandler. I just went and got some rice. Chandler, he's not here. Oh, he's not back in the call? No. That's weird. Yeah. yeah let me invite him back in. <laughs> Don't fuck it. Don't be all fuck it, Skype. I'm gonna be very angry. He's not there yet. Yeah, I just went and got some rice one. Yeah. I'm about to switch games, man, after this. Yep, I guess that's the end of your uh, Minecraft video then. <laughs> yep. After I finish this. Oh well, it's been done long enough anyway. Oh, China's back on. Yeah, I'll invite him back in. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Chan, are you back? Where's this dude gone anyway? Hey guys, ah, you're back. Okay. Yeah, my internet went completely off and wouldn't said no internet connection, so I just had to close everything and reboot my computer and everything, and it's just strange, man. Yeah, I told WSD I went I went to get some rice because uh, I was hungry. Yeah. Yeah. I was same here, man. I'm about to hold on. I'm about to switch games. No, it's not bad. This um, this brown rice with uh, peas and curry powder. Hmm. Yeah, there's ways to make vegan foods work if you try. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, the truth is, I should eat something because it's about lunchtime. Mm -hmm. It's one where I'm at. It's past lunchtime for me. Yeah, it's 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 like eleven fifty-three my time, so I think I might want to eat something too, actually. Hey, Chandler, you... We talked about yeah. a lot today. <laughs> yeah, we sure have. Hey, Chandler, have you tried the hemp seed oil? You know, um, what's it called? Seed... I, I haven't had that yet. Hmm. Yeah, I, I drizzled some of it on my rice and it tastes all right, actually. Huh. Yeah. I think I'll go down for a few minutes and eat something, I think. Something like that. Hmm. All right. Stay safe. All right. Yeah, I could just stay on the call, though, and then come back.